Hey everyone, Chris from BZB Express Yo, TV. Man. Today we are going to be introducing BZB Gears new capture devices. We have a few different options here and we want to help our customers make the right choice. So let's get started. First we're going to start off with our BG-CSA here on the screen. It's got a USB 3.1 Gen 1 connection as well as a 3G SDI connection. It's a scaler with audio connection port 3.5 millimeter. So you can see it's pretty sleek, compact. Um, you'll see there's two SDI connections here. One is the actual input, while the other one is actually a loop out. So if you had, say, a monitor that had an SDI input, you could loop out to that. Or if you had, say, another capture device, SDI, you could loop out to that, going to a different computer. Um, very handy to have. Uh, another benefit to having a SDI capture device is that it frees up the HDMI port. So if you have a camera that has SDI and HDMI, uh, if you run the SDI for your capture device, you've got that HDMI port, say, if you wanted to run to a local monitor. So typically, this is what we recommend. It is the professional's choice. Um, it does display 1080p at 60 hertz. And as well, um, it works with PCs and Macs. So depending on what you have, you can, you can use this for either computer. A nice thing about SDI, too, is that it can go up to 100 meters or 328 feet in distances. Uh, the cabling is relatively inexpensive. The connections are like a lock-on uh, connection. It's a BNC connector versus an HDMI, which can fall out. So if you're looking for a capture device where you have long lengths to go um, or you want to free up an HDMI port, this guy is the one you want. So let's do a quick connection on this and show you how it hooks up. Okay, so demonstrating our BGCSA, again, our SDI converter. Again, we have SDI input, SDI loop out. We're going to take this SDI cable here, and you can run this up to 328, 30 feet, depending on who you ask. <laughs> um, connect into your input here, twist lock. Nice feature about this is it's not going to come undone. Unlike an HDMI cable, that can be problematic if you ever have like a cabinet at home with TV equipment and things stop working. Sometimes that HDMI cable gets loose. SDI cable, you're not going to have that issue, and it's going to deliver that 1080p at 60 hertz as long with audio. So now that we've got our SDI connected, we're going to grab our USB 3.0. This is a type A to A cable. And we are going to head and connect this guy here. And we're going to connect it into our USB port. And for an audio device, I'm going to go ahead and choose my phone. And again, we have our 3.5 millimeter connection back here. We want to make sure that we have selected the little uh, tab here over to stereo input. Plug into my phone for an audio source. And on here, I'm going to choose on OBS Studios, I am going to create an audio capture. So I'm selecting audio capture. Hit OK. And I'm going to select the UAC USB 3.0 capture device. Hit OK. And now I'm going to create a video device. So I'm doing these separately, which is pretty much the best way to do this. Uh, video capture device. Hit OK. And I'm not using my integrated camera, but I'm using the 3.0. And there we go. So now I have, as you can see, music going here. It's continuously the beat up and down. And my camera's plugged in, as you can tell if I move it around. And that's as simple as that, folks. Put your audio source using a 3.5 millimeter, connect it into your capture device using the 3.5. Uh, SDI out of the camera into here, USB 3.0 into your port. Uh, let's take a look at a couple uh, HDMI converters that we have. First, we're going to take a look at the BG uh, CHA. So this guy here, very relatively simple, delivers 1080p at 60 hertz, offers um, ability to switch between a stereo input, which is the 3.5 millimeter on this side, and follow the source, the HDMI. So you got to make sure you flip this little switch. Uh, has the HDMI input here and has the USB uh, 3.1 connection here. So relatively simple. If you need uh, a good little converter, 1080p, this guy will work for HDMI. Now let's take a look at our BG Cap HA. This guy here delivers 4K at 60 hertz with support for HDR10. Um, it offers a HDMI input as well as an HDMI output. So basically this is a loop out. So if you have 
your camera and you want to input it into the HDMI in, you can. If you want to loop out that signal, say to a local monitor uh, for viewing, then you can do that with this guy. Very simple. Or another capture device to another computer. Um, it has an audio endpoint, input 3.5 millimeter as well as an audio output for extraction um, and, and a USB 3.0 port. So uh, let's take a quick look on how we can install both these little HDMI converters, essentially the same thing, so it's relatively simple. Uh, let's give you an idea of how this works though. Okay, let's connect our HDMI converters here. We have two of them, again the BGCAP HA and the BGCHA. The difference is this has HDMI loop out, this one does not, it has an HDMI input only. Um, this one also has audio in and audio out, and this one has audio in only which is controlled by a switch here. If you're gonna select the 3.5 millimeter, select the stereo input jack. Otherwise, if you're following the HDMI audio, select it over to the right. Um, so let's go ahead and test this one. They're pretty much the same thing as far as uh, how it connects. We got our HDMI cable. So we connect this over to our camera output. This is our 1080p at 60 hertz, BGUPTZ. And we're going to take our device, make sure we plug into HDMI input, of course. Once we got that connected there, then we can go ahead and connect our USB cable. Once we have our HDMI in, our USB in, uh, we can go ahead and connect to our laptop. It takes like 10-20 uh, seconds depending on your computer for it to detect. We're using OBS Studios. I do recommend at least an i5 processor uh, per OBS Studios and the majority of software programs out there. Technically you should get an i7 at least. i5 will work, um, but it can have a little bit of issue sometimes if your processor is being overloaded. So make sure your uh, laptop is plugged in or you have a full battery because it will drain your battery as well. Just some uh, extra notes there. Okay, so um, now that we have our capture uh, plugged in, let's do one more step. And we have this audio input as we talked about, so we're going to plug this into our audio input jack. And I'm going to connect my phone here. It's a very handsome dog, I have to say. And I'm going to go ahead and create a source. So as you may or may not know, OBS Studios, you create a scene, which is by default already there, and then you add your sources. And in this scenario, I am going to select video capture device because we are using a capture device. We have another video on that that our uh, handy technical guy Steve made if you need a little more reference. Hit OK. And there is our image. So as you can see, our camera is viewing our beautiful speaker there. Head back down. And let's play a little music. You'll notice here you have audio. The microphone is bouncing around because it's capturing my um, sound, obviously, off the internal microphone in the laptop. But I'm going to go ahead and play music so we see desktop audio. And what you do is you can create a separate audio source for this. So now that it's playing, I'm going to, again, add my source audio input capture. When you do this, there's other tailoring you can do depending on the program you have, including um, lip syncing and uh, gains, adjustments. You always want to make sure your source is not turned up all the way as it could create issues with um, overloading the input for sound and creating kind of a bad staticky sound. Um, so anyway, go ahead and select our microphone. It should show up as USB 3.0 HD audio capture. Hit OK. And now, as you can see here, our audio input capture, and we've created this uh, extra source, we've got um, activity. So you won't hear it when you're actually in the middle of OBS and it's working. You're only going to hear it when you play back the file. So once you've uh, stopped the recording and you've gone back and listened to it, you will hear it. This is basically the way we recommend connecting your audio, whether it be a mixer or a microphone using a capture device or going directly into the computer if it offers a 3.5 millimeter microphone input. Other than that, that's pretty much it. We do have this other one I mentioned, which I could just unplug this guy plug this into here, take out your USB, and 
and essentially that's all you're doing. Once again, our beautiful speaker is there. Our camera is functioning. Ugh, not the easiest thing to pick up. So it's as simple as that, whether you go SDI or HDMI. Again, better for long lengths, uh, cheaper cabling versus HDMI. If you go above like 25 feet on an HDMI, you're gonna end up needing HDMI extenders, which we do offer um, some extenders, including the BG-EXH50C. Uh, it goes up to 165 feet, delivers 4K. It's like 199 bucks, uh, really budget friendly. Okay, folks, well, that's how easy it is. Very simple to set up, very simple to connect. These do work with PC or Mac, so either computer will work with our capture devices. Um, you may need that SDI for those longer runs, which is recommended, as I mentioned. The HDMIs are great for short runs, typically up to 25 feet. Uh, you can also capture other signals, uh, sources. So say, for instance, you have an Xbox and you want to record your video gameplay. This will work, the HDMI version, to record that. And you can even mirror out if you get the BG Cap HA here um, into another display. So these devices are awesome, simple to hook up. Plug and play essentially. Once you plug in your computer, it takes a second, as I showed you, to for the driver to connect. Um, great for software programs. Works with pretty much all software platforms. Feel free to hit us up here. Sales at uh, BZB Express, BZB Gear. Um, you can give us a call. Uh, leave a line on YouTube. Hit up our website. We have a chat box there. We are live in person, willing to answer any questions that you have there. Go ahead, hit like if you like. Subscribe. It always helps us out. Kind of get an idea of what videos you guys like and what we need to expand on. So. So um, thanks again. You guys have a good day. Stay safe out there.